morning. Today we're out looking for birds. If you listen close, I think you can hear them. My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. I wanted to be a landscape photographer. But with a family to feed and bills to pay, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. It was time to follow my passion. Come along on my journey to become the best black and white photographer I can be. Whether it be film or digital, I will be sharing what I learned through my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is right in the edge. Today I thought I'd do something different. Take my camera out and see what the uh, bird population looks like over here at the wildlife refuge. Looks like it's pretty good right now. A lot of fog right now, so it's uh, kind of hard to photograph, but I might get some kind of moody, sh moody shot here. Something with atmosphere, that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Wildlife isn't my usual type of thing to shoot. I'm not really equipped for it, but I'm going to use what I got, see if I can't make a photograph. It's pretty dark, it's a bit of a challenge to, to take a, a photograph with fast enough shutter speed. Get enough contrast to get out of focus. Well, a whole bunch just took off. That was a uh, kind of a challenge. Oh, the light is just so low right now, and uh, the contrast is so low that my autofocus is, especially with this cheap old lens, is having a hard time locking on focus. So I tried some manual focus and some autofocus. I'm just not in an ideal situation. I need to be sitting on that side of the car, but. Uh, I'm kind of wanting to be able to move if someone comes along and says I can't park here. This is not ideal. I'd like to get some shots of uh, someone coming in out of the fog, landing, that kind of thing. Might be kind of cool. I'm totally out of my element here. Well, not that much. Still photography. You just have to have fast enough shutter speed to stop the motion of the bird and the shake of the camera. I'm not going to go for technical perfection. Probably have a little bit of noise in these images. But it's alright. We're going to get something to do. I never did say what I'm shooting with. Because I'm in, in low light, I'm, gonna, I'm going with my D750. does a little bit better in low light. 
and I have a 400 millimeter 5.6 lens on here and the lights really low I'm having to shoot like f3200 it's a lot lower than I'd like but the fog in the atmosphere we've got some ice on the foliage there's potential here for an interesting photograph but uh, it's it's a challenge this is a lot of fun it's good to get out of your comfort zone to push yourself a little bit even if you don't get anything it's, 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 it's just getting a different train of thought You can either get it on, on a, you can either get a still shot or video. It's a bummer that you can't do both at the same time. One problem I'm having is shooting through this grass. I'm hoping that I can get enough sharp images because this, this grass is kind of uh, softening my images a little bit. So I'm hoping I can find gaps through this grass to get to get a shot. It's also playing playing havoc with my autofocus. But it also could lend some mood if I can use the grass to frame some of my subjects. So in some ways it's probably um, adding something a little different to the photograph if I can make it work. I could really see the allure to shooting wildlife. But it is pretty specialized as far as the equipment you need to to do it effectively well all the birds that were in this area have, have moved on I don't know if they're heading out to feed in the fields or gonna move on down the valley we still have a few out here, but uh, nothing like what it was before. So I might try uh, another location before I head home. a shame to waste a foggy day so I think I, I might try to make a few shots with the fog so we're out of wildlife mode and kind of in get back in the landscape mode I was kind of attracted by these little trees out here these, these little spindly little things with no leaves on them they just Barely, barely can see them through the fog. I don't know if that's a bit too abstract or not, but I had to, I had to make a few frames. And that, uh, since the fog is kind of like this, 
Maybe I should try to see what else I can find before I head home. Maybe it's not all about the birds. Maybe we're not done yet. I drove to the other side of the refuge because I've been up here before. It's a little hilly. We've got some oaks on the, some of these grassy hills. So I'm going to see if I can find a photo in here. I photographed one of these oaks um, this last summer. So I'm going to see how it looks in the fog. They don't have any leaves on them now, so it, they're going to look completely different. Just really, I really love the atmosphere and the fog. It'd be a shame to uh, not try to make a few more images before I head home. Really gorgeous scene. I love the structure of this tree. And this fog just really makes it. I'm using the 20 millimeter. That's what I put in my pocket when I started off walking. I had my 7200 in the in the 20. I think the 20 works pretty nice. I'm shooting it fairly loose. I'm trying to get some of the grasses. Kind of get a little bit of the uh, arc of the hill, and I'm putting the tree pretty much right, right smack dab in the center. It's a real simple kind of a portrait of a tree, but I think this fog makes it more effective. I've also got my camera set to shoot raw and monochrome, so I'm getting a JPEG file that's black and white, and I see the black and white on the. Uh, back of the screen and then I, of course it's also making a raw file as well just gives me an idea of what I'm what I'm getting here but nothing else is really grabbing me right now so I'm gonna have to hit the road here pretty soon it's been a great morning I've I appreciate you coming along hopefully I'll have something to show you well until next time Thanks for coming along for the ride.